You can all suck it! Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my bathroom once again because honestly, this chair is really comfortable to sit in and comfort is key when spilling the tea. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was f***ing awful. That was like, that was the most horrible dad joke that I have ever heard in my life. I am just going to, I will see myself out. Okay, I was, after this video, I'm gonna see myself out. Okay, I'm gonna go. Well, enough kumbaya, let's talk some trash. <gasps> Gabby Hanna is back in the drama, and this time, it's actually not because she brought this up herself. This is because Ethan Klein let out for everyone to know that Gabby Hanna allegedly messaged him immediately after Frenemies broke up so she could go on the podcast to try to get at Trisha. Because you know that Trisha says that anything Gabby really triggers them. And honestly, when I first saw that Ethan said that over on Twitter, I was like, okay, I kind of believe this because we heard that Tana said that somebody at BuzzFeed let her know that Gabby was allegedly trying to shop this story about her and one of her friends. Ah. And like, it was it was a very like eye-opening thought to me. And then like, it, it is wild. It's, it's funny too, because this, I wish I could just say it. Should I just say it? It's kind of f***ed up. Leap it, cancel. Mm -hmm. Just say it. Should I just, should I just say it? I guess we'll cut it out. But um, this YouTuber... Um, I don't know if I was 17 or 18. I was like on the brink, but I was at a playlist live and they were like trying to hook up with me. And I like, I just, it's something I never even like thought of again. You know what I mean? It was just like, yeah. and obviously they, it was like an older guy and whatever, but I mean, we're friends now. And like, I, obviously I'm not saying I should, it's right. It's not yeah. right. It's entire, but I don't know if I was 17 or 18 and I don't, I don't know if anything so bad ever happened to where it's like condemning them. It was more just like a, a flirty weird encounter right. or whatever. And yeah. a couple weeks ago, I got a call from <laughs> that, should I say it? Are they doing an article? That Gabby Hanna was trying to sell to them that this YouTuber like hooked up with me when I was like on and that it was up. And I was like, what if this was my trauma? Is this oh, fucked up to say? Or like, God. what if this, it was so insane to me. I don't, cause yeah. after all the escape the night, I obviously, I, I wasn't like super in it. Like obviously it was an experience and you well, know, also, I, I could have a lot no of shit to say. To yeah, that's gross. Like, that was, I know, I, well, I liked, that. I liked a Joey Graceffa tweet about, what you know like you know just impertinence to like his video or whatever yeah and then i get this call gabby and called me and said this youtuber was trying to hook up with you and you were like, oh to all this ew, shit. i hate yeah. that we've heard gabby try to shop stories before about other people so would it really be that far-fetched and would it really be that crazy to believe that gabby hannah would be like hey trish is out of frenemies she's at a really low point right now let me get on in there and let me just try to take one final dig because you know, Trisha just went on Keemstar's podcast and the whole internet was in an uproar because they're like, oh my God, you're turning your back on Ethan even more. You're such a hypocrite because you were upset when Rylan and Shane were still friends with Jeffrey. Look, here you are with Keemstar, the whole thing with Ethan. And then the following day after the news broke that Trisha was gonna be on Keemstar's podcast, here comes the picture of Keemstar and Gabby Hanna. So a lot of people are like, well, you know, he really got one over on Trisha and he really trolled her because Trisha didn't know that Gabby was going to be the next guest. I'm sorry, in my opinion, when I first saw that that was what happened and the next person that was going to be on the podcast after Trisha, I did have a little bit of a laugh because I was like, that is like the ultimate troll. So originally Ethan Klein tweeted, Gabby Hanna messaged me immediately after Frenemies broke up trying to get on the podcast. I knew it would be an interesting show with lots of views to be had, but I didn't even respond to her and still haven't. Some things you just don't do. I would never do that to Trisha. So Ethan is trying to take the high road over there. And Gabby, of course, quote tweeted this and said, I didn't message immediately after Frenemies broke up. I messaged immediately after I put out the evidence of the lies you and Trisha spread on Frenemies. Still would like the opportunity to defend myself on the platform I was harassed and slandered on, please. Now, Trisha and a lot of people out there say that Ethan does not like confrontation. He does not like actually having conversations with people. Just like that whole Steven Crowder thing, you know, how he had the other guy come on, which was very funny. I'm not knocking that. I was laughing the whole entire time. That was like a whole like F you to Crowder. But the point is, they all say that he doesn't like to have confrontation. So I don't see him actually having Gabby on frenemies, families, whatever it's called right now. I don't see that conversation. Um, happening and I think that Gabby knows that and um, yeah I think she knows there's no hope for that right in other news I was just sitting here on Instagram scrolling Shane Dawson's Instagram story and he's talking about how last night he like look right there the Instagram story. He's saying that last night, you can probably hear my puppies running around, which by the way, someone commented on my vlog from the other day. I think it was on the vlog or it might've been on Dustin's video because the dogs were in that as well, saying that we, <laughs> by petting our animals and like holding them up and showing them on camera, we're exploiting them and we're horrible people. F you. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Shane is saying, last night I came to bed and Rylan rose up and looked to me and said, you're going to tonight and then he started laughing and the next one is literally just a picture of Ryland sitting right there he said then after I yelled at him for a few minutes he woke up and said he had no idea what I was talking about I'm gonna include the clip of him talking to Ryland right here I came to bed and you woke up and you said the balloons are gonna kill you if you jump off the bed you're gonna die it was the scariest thing ever. What are you talking about? Dad, are you asleep? No. So what were you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> don't... So I have a question because I have been so out of the loop and honestly, I don't feel like looking. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't feel like looking because it's really not that important. But did they move to Colorado yet? Like, are they in this new house? Did they purchase it? Is it bought? Is that the new house that they're sitting in when he's talking to Ryland? Or is this at the old house? Because if this is the new house, you need to get your money back. You need to move back to California or just somewhere else in Colorado. Because clearly where you're at is not good. In other news, I heard that there is some drama with some Instagram influencers like Jaclyn Hill. Apparently the views are down. People are not liking photos of people's Instagrams. Jaclyn was complaining that her last post barely got over a hundred thousand likes and that she's used to getting around like two to three hundred thousand likes basically. I have to say though, I do understand where Jaclyn is coming from on this issue because it has to be frustrating. Maybe not so much for Jaclyn because she has other businesses she has YouTube she also has Jacqueline cosmetics but there are some people out there that their sole business is Instagram and they really haven't branched out which is crazy because you need to put your money in like a few different places you can't just be having like one little pot to take out of you don't want to be like without a pot to piss in I understand the argument for Instagram influencers that get paid and Instagram is their job if something's going on with the algorithm and all of a sudden the people that even follow them are not seeing what they are posting the views will be down. So that means that maybe sponsors will be like, hey, you know, you're not really having much influence anymore. Not as many people are seeing this, like what's up? We need to reduce your rate or we might not work with you ever again. So I get the argument, but it does just sound like, it just, it just sounds like a lot of blah, blah when Jacqueline's doing it. I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, it sounds kind of like a wah, wah uh, to me. Um, it does like it, it's this i have the same feeling about it like when james charles did it it's like you he went from getting like six million views to like getting like four million views and he was like bitching about it all over instagram and it's like people would kill for like ten thousand likes like it's it seems like it seems very entitled um it seems very just like ungrateful like ugh. Only 100,000 people liked this. Like, what the hell? This picture was gorgeous. It was amazing. It was a picture of Jacqueline literally standing in, like, the refrigerator section at the grocery store trying to look relatable or something. I don't know. Um, so, it uh, stop bitching about it. There's ups. There's downs. Maybe people just weren't that interested in you that day. That's perfectly fine. You've been on YouTube long enough to know that there are definitely highs and definitely lows. Sometimes your channel will be way up here. Sometimes your views will be way down here. You ride the wave. And that's how it happens. So with all that said, everyone, I think that is it for this video. I am going to go and vlog. Um, I have some stuff here that I need to show. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.